All right, you got this kettlebell. What are you gonna do with it? What are the best exercises to do with it, especially if you're looking to lose weight? That's what we're gonna cover in this video. Hey, my name is Skylar Deem. I'm the founder of Reach Fat Loss and Fitness, where our goal is to help you lose weight and keep it off, all without any sucky or strict dieting, without counting all your calories, weighing all your food, without having to eat four, five, six times a day. What you're gonna learn in this video has helped clients of mine lose weight and keep it off and feel amazing. And the goal with these videos is to help you do the same. So if you are on a weight loss journey and you're looking for support, you're looking to continue your education, make sure you tap that subscribe button and hit that bell. And also make sure you check out the free training in the description of this video for our exact system and why I believe it's the best and most effective. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what I believe to be the three best kettlebell exercises for weight loss. There are a wide, wide variety of different exercises that you do, but I believe that these three are the best and most effective for a couple of reasons that we're going to talk about. And stick around because you might be surprised by exercise number three. So exercise number one, if you have been a subscriber to this channel, probably will not surprise you. And it is the kettlebell swing because the swing is king, baby. I did an entire video on the kettlebell swing and why it's so effective for fat loss but with this one movement, not only are you getting strength, not only are you getting power, but you're also getting cardio and endurance as well. If you want more in depth, check out that video that I posted. You can find that in the description. But for now, just trust me, this is one of the best. If you have a kettlebell and you're working on losing fat, I highly suggest including this in your routine. Number two is going to be an exercise that is the kettlebell snatch. Now the kettlebell snatch involves taking the kettlebell from hanging down at your side to lifting it up and holding it above you. So it's a little bit different than the swing because it's gonna include the full upward movement rather than just swinging out to in front of you. I referenced a study in the kettlebell swing video where participants did this movement and you burnt about 20.2 calories per minute, which is equivalent as running a six minute mile. And unknowingly that study was actually for the kettlebell snatch, not the kettlebell swing. So you get all these caloric burning effects without the joint pain, without having to go out and get your heart rate crazy up and with just doing it for a minute. You're also involving a lot of your body with this movement because you're using explosive power driving through the legs, using the upper body as well, and it is an awesome way to work the full body. So I'll get to number three in a second, but I have a quick question for you. If you were to lose five pounds every month, how many months would it take you to hit your weight loss goal? Let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you. So number three, the third kettlebell exercise is actually gonna be quite a curveball here. And this is going to be the Turkish getup. Now the Turkish getup involves holding a kettlebell above you, starting from laying on the ground and through specific technical movements, being able to get from the ground to standing straight up. Now here is why I chose this movement because from a fat burning standpoint, it honestly isn't the best but you and me hopefully both know at this point that exercise isn't how you burn fat. Combining exercise with a dialed in diet is how you effectively burn fat. And so what the Turkish getup does is if you pair it with a diet where you are consistently seeing results is it gives you a really, really good benchmark for the progress that you're making. Now, let me explain that. So a few years ago, I worked with a client who was pretty heavy. Um, he typically had to get help standing up if he was lying in his bathtub or something like that. And through some of the progress that he was making, he noticed that he was actually able to stand up and get out of the bathtub without help. Now that may seem small at first, but if you really think about that, that is allowing yourself to see a capability that you have not had in the past, which can motivate you to keep going, to continue to see results. It can excite you. And so the reason I chose the Turkish getup is because when you start it, if you're overweight, you may be really, really bad at it. You might not even be able to do it, but through continued fat loss efforts and continuing to see results, getting better at that movement is, yeah, 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 yeah. Doing that movement is gonna help improve your strength, coordination, flexibility, but getting better at that movement is going to allow you to see progress, which is gonna motivate you to keep going. But I wanted to include this because I really do believe that sometimes the exercise isn't just about burning the calories and isn't just about the direct result you see, but it's also about the progress that you're able to make to continue to motivate yourself to keep going. So those are the three exercises I've got. If you are looking for weight loss help and you're looking for a way to include all of this into a specific plan, make sure you check the link in the description of this video for a free training. And if you are interested in hopping on a call, creating a custom strategy for you and seeing if working together would be a good fit on that page, there will be a link to my calendar as well. So go check that out. But again, if this video helped you leave it a like, make sure to check out some of the other videos that I have put out. And of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you in the next video.